Good afternoon. Give me one moment to make sure that I'm live. Always takes a, a couple of refreshes. <coughs> Not yet, and we've got a dog barking, my apologies. I don't, she, she hears nothing. I'm not sure what she's barking at. Okay, it looks like we are live. All right, very good. So good afternoon, Carol Buckaloo with Inky B Stampers. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I've got um, a pretty little, uh, what I would call a window card. So this top panel is, is popped up with some Stampin' Dimensionals um, with the the sentiment stamped on a panel underneath, and then I've decorated here around the side of the window. Um, and just a really pretty little card. I'm calling this an encouragement card, but uh, it could also be a congratulations card. So I have left the inside blank, um, just so I can stamp whatever sentiment I might need on the card. Hi Faith, thanks so much for joining. I've got a puppy here that wants to bark, so I'm hoping she doesn't make a lot of noise. She's been grumbling for the last five minutes, and I'm not sure what she hears. But anyway, so the products I used for this card are the Encircled in Nature bundle. I used both the stamp set and the dies. Um, the Deckled Rectangle Circle, I'm sorry, <laughs> Deckled Circles dies, and then I've used some of the Adhesive Back Sequence Trio. Uh, which are real pretty. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanted to do, I have pre-cut all of my pieces. She does want attention, Faith, you're exactly right. And she's she's getting on my last nerve right now. <laughs> she really is. I've kind of pre-marked my grid paper here uh, just to, to place this um, so that, whoops, well, it needs to go over one, one more grid. But um, so that I can use kind of these crosshairs on my grid paper to line up my, um, my deckled circle dies. And what I did, um, so this is the sixth from the smallest die. And um, I basically wanted to center this die onto my panel when I die cut it. Um, and I just secured the die with uh, a couple of pieces of post-it tape. And then I ran this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And so that I've already pre-cut for you. But what I wanted to share with you, and this is kind of important, because these are deckled circles and the dies are kind of wavy on the edges, right? It's not a, a complete circle, it's, it's got little waves. So this is the sixth from the smallest and the seventh from the smallest um, dies. And what I did was I laid these dies down. I used a Sharpie and placed a dot at the top of these dies. So this will help me, let me grab my original card. This will help me line up this uh this frame around the window um and i know which end is the top so i just made sure that these were i marked the tops of both of the dies placed them on my cardstock so that there was kind of an equal distance in between the two i secured them down with some post-it tape and i die cut it but when I ran this through the die cutter, this centerpiece is pretty much going to waste. So what I did was I cut a, a couple of pine boughs and I placed those in the center uh, and cut those at the same time when I was running through this cardstock for my frame. And that just kind of uh, saves, you know, from wasting any cardstock, uh, but I just wanted to share with you how I cut that frame for the window. And I'm just gonna put my dies away here so I don't misplace them. So I have, as I said, I've already cut 
I've already cut my frame uh, and my, my front panel. This paper is, let me see here. This paper is from the Forever Love 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series paper. When I cut this frame, I did mark with a pencil the top of the frame. So it, it takes a little bit of finagling and you may get some of the frame showing, but that's why I marked the dies. And then before I remove this from my cutting plate, I mark the top of this frame as well. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put on my card front. And, uh, and we can go ahead and, and get this card started. We are having a lovely day here. It is uh, almost 70 degrees. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, we're going to get more rain and then it's going to get cold again. So, yeah, I don't know. The cold this time of year, it just wants to hang on so bad. So let me find my little mark and I'm going to, as best as I can, try to line that frame up. Whoops. Without getting glue all over the place, hopefully. And there is a bit, and I like to use liquid glue because there is a bit of wiggle room if you need to kind of scrunch that frame um, towards the center to cover the designer series paper. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just kind of making sure that that designer series paper is covered. Whoops, and it slid back on me. Give me a minute here to kind of manipulate this. All right, I think we've got it now. All right, it's showing just a little bit, but honestly, I don't think that you're gonna notice it. The next thing I wanna do, so this outer panel, this designer series paper panel, um, is um, five and a quarter by four inches. The interior panel that I'm going to stamp the sentiment on, I cut one eighth of an inch uh, smaller. So this panel is measuring five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn these around to the back side, and I'm gonna kind of line those up and flip that over and hopefully it didn't shift on me. And I'm gonna grab my ink and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment here. You know, let me try that again because it totally shifted on me. And you know what, I think I'll just use, and I'm doing this just so that, um, you know, the panel is not going to show. There we go, I think maybe, well, no, it still wants to shift. Let me grab some more post-it tape. My post-it tape is getting a bit worn because I, I reuse these pieces. Um, just to, just to save, you know, it, it's good for a few uses. So let me just try to hold this down here without it shifting. Don't mean to make it so complicated, but I, I don't want it to shift on me. And I'm gonna go ahead and it's shifted again, but well, we're gonna do our best here. Um, I'm going to stamp the sentiment in Pretty Peacock and right smack there in the middle of this window. Um, and the sentiment says, may this year be incredible and filled with possibilities. I think that's a really nice sentiment. So that could be encouragement or congratulations. Either one I think would work. And fingers crossed, I had a heck of a time stamping this sentiment. Um, I think just because of the script. Um, so we'll see how, getting it straight that is. I didn't have trouble stamping it, but just getting it straight. So let's see how we did here. Let me kind of line that back up and say that looks good. Okay, that looks good to me. And I wanted a bit of space between that stamped panel and the front DSP panel. Hi, Amy, thanks so much for joining. You're not late, you're good. Um, so what I am going to do is I am going to put Stampin' Dimensionals uh, directly on my DSP panel 
and then I will adhere it to the sentiment panel. And I wanna make sure to bring these in a bit since this panel is slightly smaller. I wanna make sure that my dimensionals uh, are going to, to work. Whoops. Well, that one didn't want to. Uh... I am all thumbs today. Do you ever have days like that? <laughs> all thumbs. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm ready for warm weather too, Faith. Um, I just get tired of the cold. And, and stuff's starting to bud out. The daffodils are blooming. I noticed uh, our blueberries are um, are starting to, to bud out, which is exciting. We just got them last year and we've got them in a giant container on the deck. And they produced quite a few berries last year. I was surprised. Um, but they, I, I had to look up how to tr trim them, you know, so they get, they got trimmed like in August, which helps promote new growth before the next season. And so I did all that and uh, they're looking, they're looking pretty good. So I think we're going to have lots of blueberries. Yeah, we're almost at 70 now, Amy. It is really, and it's getting muggy, which the rain's on its way, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so, hopefully, I've got everything. I just need to pull this to me a bit. And hopefully, um, you know, I'm actually wondering if I shouldn't do it this way. I'm making this, I think, more complicated than it needs to be. Um but let me try setting this down and hopefully the sentiment is straight. Yay. Okay, very good. Um, so now our window is raised up a little bit and I like that recess look. Hey, Tara, Beth, how are you? You had blueberries when you lived in Oregon and the birds love them too. Yeah, we're thinking, Amy, we might have to put maybe some netting over them. I'm not 100% sure. They, the birds didn't seem to really bother them last year, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm just matting this to a pretty peacock mat. So the dimensionals actually went between the sentiment panel and the DSP panel. And I'll get that matted up, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on our card front. There's no reason why I can't. You like blueberries too, Tara. Yeah, I'm not a huge blueberry fan. It's my husband that loves blueberries. So they're, they're really his bushes. I'm taking care of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And my my uh, card base here is Lost Lagoon. And I just love this color combo. Love, love, love this color combo. Um, so let me do a bit more stamping. We'll get our inside panel in. I did already pre-stamp my flowers through the front of the card, and I've gone ahead and die cut those um, just to save time. Um, actually, we don't have any stamping on the inside panel, so let me get that put together. So what I have here is a quarter inch piece of the DSP and a three quarter inch piece of Pretty Peacock, and I am going to adhere this thin strip to the wider Pretty Peacock strip. I saw, I can't credit the demonstrator who I saw, you know, do this, um, but they had done their inside of the card this way and I thought it looked so pretty. And so I thought I'd give it a try. Certainly nothing complicated, but it just looked real pretty. Yeah, Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon are, are Oh, I love, love, love these colors. Alrighty, and then I'm going to adhere this to the right side 
of my inside panel. I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch of the panel showing. And then I can go ahead and mat this up. So like I mentioned, I'm going to leave the sentiment out of the inside of the card. So if I need a congratulations card or an encouragement card, that front sentiment would work for either. Uh, I can go ahead and stamp an additional sentiment on the inside of the card uh, if I want or need to. So I like to do that just, you know, um, rather than having a very specific card that maybe I can't use uh, this way, leaving a sentiment off on the inside, you know, gives, gives me some options. And I'm going to go ahead and get this on our inside of our card base and I'm just looking for that equal reveal all the way around and that looks good to me but isn't that edge pretty I thought it was really a neat look I mean it's just something different something I don't normally do and let me go ahead and get our envelope stamp so I use the flower spray for lack of better word it's like two little flowers with some leaves and buds um, and I am going to be decorating the front of car the front of the card with that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stamp my envelope, and I'm going to stamp this image in Lost Lagoon, right down here on the corner of the envelope. I really like this encircled in nature um, stamp set. I it I just like the versatility of it. I guess. I'm going to go ahead, well, let's go ahead and shut the ink up before I put my hand in it. Um, I keep a scrap piece of cardstock near my Stampin' Blends, and I use that to put inside my envelopes uh, when I'm coloring on the envelope, just to av avoid bleed through of the markers. I tend to have a heavy hand. And I wanted to show you that when I originally colored this, I colored the leaves in a light shade of Lost Lagoon, and I thought it was too dark. So for this card, I'm going to color the leaves in with the dark shade of soft sea foam. And that seemed to, it, I just like the look a little better. It wasn't quite so dark. And there's only three little leaves, so that is quick coloring. And then I've got lemon lolly that I'm going to color in the buds and the flowers with. And uh, I've already worn my Lemon Lolly Stampin' Blend. I already need to replace it. I feel like I haven't even had it that long, but I must, I must use it a lot. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just quickly color, um, color our flowers in here. And if I leave a little bit of a white edge across the top of the uh, flower petals, that works for me. Um, just kind of gives it some, some shading or some light on the petals, if you will. So I'm not really trying to go all the way up to that edge. And to be honest with you, the coloring goes a lot faster. Um, but this, you know, won't work for everything, but certainly flower petals, it'll work for it. And then my kind of my highlights are already in there. And then I'm going to come in with the dark shade. And I'm just going to darken kind of those flower centers. It's hard to see. And, uh, it, you know, it doesn't make a huge impact, but enough. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of flick the darker shade over the markings uh, from the stamp. Just to give it a little, a little oomph. And I'm not going to blend this in. Um, because honestly, the color is so light, you don't really need to. Um, but it, pretty, pretty little flowers. All right, that is the envelope. And let's go ahead and get our front decorated. And as I mentioned, I'd already pre-cut these pieces. I cut two of the uh, pine fronds. And I cut those from the center of the, um, of the window opening. So I didn't waste cardstock. And then I've got two of the little flower fronds and I just cut those from um, Very Vanilla. So, you know, very, 
actually a very simple, easy card. And so these little fronds are going to sit kind of far down on, on the window there, on the left side of the window. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of spreading those out. So let me get those adhered down. Hi, Jenny. Thanks so much for joining. I didn't see you jump in. I was talking. <laughs> the inside edge idea. Yeah, it is, it, it is a little something different. And when I saw it, and I'm sorry that I don't know who to credit for, for that idea, uh, but I did see another demonstrator do it. And I just thought it was real pretty. Um, just something different, you know. Some more options, if you will. All right. And we'll get our other little pine frond here. Glue down. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the flowers a little bit closer to the center there. And I'm only applying glue towards the base of these uh, stems. I'm not putting glue all the way up to the tops just because I like, um, I like a little bit of movement on the flowers that kind of so that they're kind of free floating. This one on and I don't want to get in the way of my sentiment there I think that'll work okay and let me grab my dimensionals and I'm going to go ahead and pop um, pop these flowers up with Stampin dimensionals so I really want to Get these dimensionals more on the outside of the blossoms. And let me, I'm at the end of my strip here. I cut my Stampin' Dimensionals in half. I like, um, I like half dimensionals as opposed to the whole, just because I think that they fit in spaces better. Um, but you could certainly use whole dimensionals if you'd like. But we're almost done here. So this was, this was, after the die cutting is done, it's a quick and easy card. And our little flowers. You just want to make sure they're not hanging over the edge here too much. There we go. And I think that made a pretty little card. I really do. Let me find my sequence. And we'll pop a few uh, pretty peacock sequins on the card front. Did I miss saying hello to anybody else? Let me just, um... no, I think I got everybody else. I just, I just missed you, Jenny. I didn't see you pop in. Oh, thank you, Faith. Appreciate it. Yeah, but if, if Pretty Peacock goes away again, I'm going to be sad because I've, I've become very fond of Pretty Peacock. I'm going to pop a large sequin down there and let's get a couple of i'm going to put one up here and i'm going to put one kind of tuck it in there among the uh amongst the sentiment and i can go ahead and get the designer series paper here on my envelope flap thank you amy appreciate it and we are done so this card is for a sketch challenge for the Happy Ink and Thursday blog hop, uh, which is tomorrow. So if you stop by my blog, I will have links uh, so that you can participate in the hop and, uh, and hop all around and see everybody's creations. Um, our team always provides wonderful inspiration. So be sure to stop by inkybstampers.com and you'll find the links at the bottom of my blog post and this card uh, tomorrow. I'm trying to think what is going on. We will be having, I guess in just a little under a month, a new catalog coming out. So that's always exciting. Um, 
and I will when when I have the um, when I have the chance to pre-order. I will be sharing some of those products with you on my blog, so be sure to check back in. But new catalogs are always exciting. So that is our card for today, uh, encircled in nature in a pretty little window frame uh, with some pretty little spring flowers. And um, yeah, very easy, very easy to create. Um, thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, thanks for your lovely comments. I will see you all next Wednesday here at 1 p.m. Eastern, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.